Hello friends, it is Liam, it is Thursday. There's a piece of hair. It's what happens when you have curly hair, it just has a mind of its own and it just does things that I don't want it to do. This week's topic is brought to us by Kindle and it is, what is our favorite animal slash pet? And I think it's pretty obvious that I love cats very much. Cats are definitely one of my favorite animals. I love kittens. I love middle-aged cats. I love old fat cats. I love any type of cat. I also love dogs. And I also love penguins. I actually have a stuffed penguin. Not a, not a penguin that was alive and then died and then was stuffed. I mean like a stuffed animal penguin. His name is Wally, and I've had him since I was two. I actually have him right here behind me, so let me let me get him. Here we have Wally, and like I said, I've had him since I was uh, two years old. I got him at a yard sale, and he was actually a Christmas ornament. He had like a little string right here, and he had like a Christmas present under his arm, and a Santa hat. I'm not quite sure why you would want to hang something this large from your Christmas tree or anywhere else around your house for that matter but it, it was an option. But now he's quite old and decrepit and his beak is all crusty and gross and he's missing an eyeball. This is not his original wing, it's actually a bunny ear off of a stuffed animal bunny because he lost this one in a tragic accident. And he just has holes all over him, but I love him deeply and I sleep with him every night. Yes, I am a grown man that sleeps with a stuffed animal, but he holds a lot of sentimental value because I actually gave him to my grandpa when my grandpa was in the hospital suffering from cancer. I gave Wally to him to hold when he had any sort of pain in his belly. He would squeeze Wally and it would make it better. And unfortunately, my grandpa did pass from that cancer. It was back in 2000. And I miss him because he was a very sweet, gentle man and I feel like he would have been here for me and he would have supported me no matter who I am or what I've done. So yes, Wally means a lot to me and I will be buried with him for sure and I will sleep with him every night even when I'm married. So sorry about that. But as for pets, I have a cat. Her name is Bunny and she's white and she has a little bobtail and she stays outside because that is where she prefers it and she peed all over everything when she was inside. Uh, but I haven't seen her in a little bit so I hope that she's okay. We have a bulldog. Her name is Noelle. She's like half American, half English and she is just the biggest freaking cuddle buddy in the world. She loves to cuddle, and she loves to be cuddled, and she just loves attention in general. I think she thinks that she's a cat because she just likes to perch on top of the couch like a cat would. We had a German Shepherd for a very long time, for about 13 years, I think. Her name was Clara, and she was the most amazing dog. She was incredibly loyal and loving. She was very protective. She was just a great dog, and we loved her very much. And I also have a hedgehog. Her name is Pocahontas, and she's, you know, she's nice. She's cute, you can't really cuddle hedgehogs because they're, you know, pokey. But she's cute, and her belly, you know, their their underbellies are like really soft and cuddly, so you can pet those, and you can pick them up, and they'll walk around and sniff, and all that good stuff. I'm just an all-around animal person. I love really every type of animal that's not terrifying and, and vicious. But I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope that you enjoyed my little show and tell of animals. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that you guys are having a good day slash week, and I will see you next Thursday, okay? I'll see you right there with the face and stuff. All right. Okay. Okay, bye. Uh, I'm so old, such an old man. Oh.